Up In Your Business with Carrie McCoy, a podcast and YouTube channel that brings you the stories of interesting people you thought you knew. But you didn't know this, Bob Robbins' humbling childhood. Born in Florida, right. your father died when you were how old? So I was just pinch over a month. I was the baby of 13. Wow. When I turned 10, my mother died. But to be honest with you, very few people know this, my adopted dad is my oldest brother. So that's how that all came to be. Rex Nelson's Washita Baptist football story that connects very unlikely events. My phone rang one day and a guy from Conway named Glenn Hoggard was doing the uh, doing the play-by-play -play and he said I'm in Saudi Arabia. He was working for the Ward Bus Company. Ward had gotten a huge contract to sell buses to the Saudi government to take pilgrims to Mecca. So he said, I'm in Saudi Arabia. I'm going to miss the game today. You're going to have to do play by play and, and have done it uh, the years I'm in Arkansas, was in, have been in Arkansas ever since. Steve Landers, Penny Profit Beginnings. At the tender age of just five years old, Steve walked to the newspaper office and with his allowance of three cents, bought newspapers and then he resold them for five cents. You missed the part about my allowance was three cents. I, I, I think I didn't have any allowance. I just mustered up a couple of dollars and I'd go up there and buy papers for three cents a piece and then I'd sell them for five cents a piece. A lot of times they would give me a dab. <laughs> Ned Permy's connection to famous football coach Newt Rockney. My grandfathers, my great uncles, they all were they all went to Notre Dame. My great uncle Don Miller was one of the four horsemen of Notre Dame, and so I have huge history with Notre Dame. And McCoy, personal assistant to President Bill Clinton, giving advice to actor Michael Douglas. The president is afforded any movie he would like to see. We watched an American president where Michael Douglas played the president. We had a French state dinner a little later on, and he was invited as a guest. And he looked at me and he said, I am so nervous. And I said, well, why don't you just pretend like you're acting in a movie? And he smiled. Master Gardener Janet Carson's inability to find a sunny vacation spot. A friend and I were gonna go where it was warm in February. So we chose Phoenix. It was freezing and it rained the whole time we were there. <laughs> then I went to the beach. Same thing, cold and wet. Carrie McCoy, owner of Flag and Banner, asking questions that turn conversations into compelling podcasts, radio shows, and an extensive YouTube channel. Subscribe to the podcast wherever you like to listen by searching Up In Your Business with Carrie McCoy.